we back. Are we are we ready for some Stalingrad sorties? We're pushing through this. That looks like a forty percent of the Stalingrad campaign. The date is 25th of October, 1942. Oh, we have a few days to catch up. This is just a few days and 80, 80 years and a few days, isn't it? Hey, architect, F4. Let's go. That's whatever, three, Jagish Father Dry. Let's go. The third Jagashvada Dry was formed on March 1st, 1940 in Yen. It consisted of a staff element and three squadron staffeln and had a fleet of BF-109 fighters. The group was not involved in the early phase of, battle, of the Battle of Britain instead of providing protection for the French coastline. It joined air raids against England only since mid-August 1940. In June 1941, the group left France as part of its wing and redeployed to eastern Poland, where it was placed under the command of Flieger Corps 5 of Luf Luftflotte 4. Since June, 9, June 22, 1941, the Czechoslovakia was involved in Operation Barbarossa since, supporting the offensive of Army Group South. Let's join them. Go. Let's roll. Oof, the amount of road I required. I'm way off. Nearly off the runway. JU 52s. There's the burning Stalingrad. Yep. I think this is a quiet mission, that's it, really. I think we can go back and land, nice warm-up. Okay, starting to unwind the flaps, it takes a while in this. Gear goes down. To seventy speed is a okay. Flaps fully deployed. Gear is down. Two fifty on the clock. Nice, nice, nice. Two hundred. Second of November 1942, Jagdish Dry at Pitomnik Airfield. So we got additional three 109s F4s and two new pilots, Kunibert and Joachim, and a new newspaper. Story time, boys. Okay, the war escalates across the globe. Ooh, ooh. 
in this issue alternative fuel page 4 insurmountable insurmountable will page 7 shambhala fiction or reality page 10 the battle of santa cruz islands targeting the soviet 62nd army William Bull Halsey assumes command of South Pacific Navy. Okay, targeting the Soviet 62nd Army. The constant pressure from German units within Stalingrad have taken a mighty toll on the units still fighting to gain a foothold and push the remaining elements of the Soviet Army east across the Volga. The fighting in the streets has deteriorated into house-to-house -house engagements with progress measured in meters instead of miles. The logistics of resupply and coordinating forces has become almost impossible in some situations. Pockets of resistance move throughout the city, harassing the German forces who are desperately trying to break the will of the soldiers of the Soviet 62nd Army. This force has been in the grinder known as Stalingrad since the battle began in August. The deepest push by General Hoth has come over the last week. In many places throughout the city, the Soviet forces are less than 50 meters from being driven back into the ice flows of the Volga River. An uncompromising position, to say the least, for defenders that have seen intense battle for three continuous months. The house to house fighting has reached the scale never seen in modern day warfare. Tanks move up and down the destroyed streets, where tens of thousands have given their lives to stem the tide of the Blitzkrieg. The reinforcements of Soviet forces in Stalingrad has given the desperate defenders the stability to hold what little ground remains under their control within the city. A ranking officer states, the situation on the ground is desperate, but there are rumblings of the Soviet leadership setting a trap for the German 6th Army. As effective as the German assault has been due to logistical nightmares caused by unrelenting weather and warfare, they have found their forces overextended and lacking their reserves to maintain their form on the battlefield. A well-placed counterattack could break the here important oh okay this is a bigger one this is a proper proper patrol or oh, escort full fuel tank let's Rotate. Gear up. <laughs> Install this. Yes. I, I demand. I refuse. I refuse to, to move with this anywhere. Keep it. If I don't return it, that's... You'll have a souvenir. Of the thing I hated. Oh, they're just chilling. They didn't get the flare, I guess. They're just chilling for the appropriate flare to take off. Now they go. There we see the transport planes. Too fast, too fast, too fast. Forty, forty millimeter ones. That's nuts. I thought only I thought only Hurricane gets uh, forty millimeter ones. That's a this one is a bit of a flying shed. Oh, he got spooked. We are too close to him.
What? They showered bombs away? What? Ooh, look at this. <laughs> the bombers said bombs away. Paratroopers. And the green smoke. Oh, nuts, I never saw that. See ya, boys. So how long this bird can fly with a full tank? Quite long. So with all this flight and we've used uh, 200 liters? I mean, when you're in combat, when you're pushing the engine, it will be quite a bit more. The usage will be uh, a lot higher. But yeah, just cruising like that on some low ATA setting flies for long. I'm not sure like at a maximum endurance. It will be a couple of hours. Okay. Well, we are a bit slow. Sub 200, a bit too early for that slow, low speed. A little bit of a throttle. I felt good. That landing felt nice. Oh, we got awarded. Front flying clasp of the fighters in silver. What is that for? On the 2nd of November, 1942, the Front flying clasp for fighters was instituted by Her Hermann Göring on January 30, 1941, and was awarded based on the number of operational missions completed. Bronze, 20 operational missions. Silver, 60 operational missions. Gold, 110 operational missions. Gold with pendant, 500 operational missions. An operational mission was counted if the enemy was engaged or if enemy airspace was penetrated by a given distance. Multiples of missions were also awarded for exceeding a given number of hours in the air. Attack plane and heavy fighter crews were also awarded this clasp until May, May 13th, 1942, when the front flying clasp for attack planes and heavy fighters was instituted. The gold pendant was instituted on June 26th, 1942, in response to the growing number of operational missions being accumulated. It was hung beneath the wreath of the main gold clasp. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, this is really close. This is all over this place. Those attackers will be just close sh shortly after takeoff. I'm tempted to grab a lot less fuel than we have. 250, probably plenty. Okay, we are off the ground. Head. We probably need to head towards the, the Stalingrad, I'd imagine. I think we get, we'll get informed where the attackers are coming from, but let's climb for now. Oh, I see them already. Oh, no. Oh, Ooh, there's a lot of them. Lots of escort fighters. So we have looks like five attackers and a ton of fighters. Oh, this is bad. Okay, climb setting is 1.3 ATA for 30 minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta climb. Quickly build some energy before we merge with them. Oh boy, they went all in on that one. Oh boy, where, why did you go there? Oh my god, this is rough.
What is this? This looks like yaks or lags. I need some decent hits on that one. Okay, okay, we need some we need to extend this a little bit because they're all over all over here. There's a guy that's one of our friend that's already who got shot and is going ham on the other one. High angle this. Got some juice I just fired MG, got some MG hits. Not bad. Hardware attacks. Oh god, we match with them all here. Oh, this guy's slow on flaps. Interesting. That blew up. Still few around, like. Five of them around, and now six. Oh, this one's Aza. Aza is looking for us. He dead. Lag threes on the combat log. This one's wounded. One, two, three. This guy's low, but he's following them. Are they turning on us? I think they may. Oh, no, let's stick to the guys that are high. Some result, not not too pleased with that shooting, but some result. He's not going far, is he? Oh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 cheeky booger! Where did you come from? That's not how you make friends. <laughs> friends. Friends. It's just a uh, friendship uh, led. Got to shut up a bit. Just MG. Put that MG in. It's leaking. Nice, nice, nice. Finish it with cannon. Oh, two going for us. Oh, 
no, 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 rip, Saj. Guys, we're in trouble now. We hit. We hit. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, that's Pitomnik. We should be able to finish this guy. Although he's losing altitude, I don't know if we should. More and more oil. Dead. Didn't have to be time. We are near our base, so um, I feel cheeky. We are close to base. If practically we are fighting above our base. Tail gone. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you there. I think I met you before. Still flying. Oh boy. Worse and worse visibility this. All that fuel all over that plane, I guess it... Uh... Oh no! Oh, I didn't see that one coming. We have we have all? I don't think we have all parts now. We're missing some it. Hey, I wanna land now. I've had enough. <laughs> Bookshot Pojangs. Welcome back, thank you for the biddies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, welcome. How's it going? I'm nearly dead. I'm half dead here. Okay, we dragged them some friendly on him. Uh, emergency landing. Control. Alec 1-1. One, one. Declaring emergency landing. Uh, I can't see much through it. This Flaps all the way down. Come on, flaps. Come on, flaps. We're kind of going in hot. What is it? 400 on, on the speedo? No. No. Crabbing a bit. Okay, 300 gear goes down. Oh, one's on us. Oh, one's on us. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, don't stall, though. Don't stall, though. Okay, I think he did, he missed his, uh, his approach. Oh, God. Yep, he's above. I don't... I can't see anything. I think that's the wrong way. That flare was a bit high. Rip. We died. <laughs> that's what happened. We lost a wheel and we all know lost wheel means dead. A f wheel falls off a plane. That's what it. That's why we went over the nose. The landing wasn't that bad. It was dodgy, of course. But yeah, that's what got us. But are we are we dead or are we alive? Because it's. I think we are alive. Finish mission. I think we'll be a bit injured after this. Are we dead? Emergency landing. We didn't die. Crisis averted. Guys, it's all fine. It's all good. Just a couple of days in the, in the hospital. In this issue.
Bug Blow, page 2. Kriegsmarine preparations on page 5. And Shock Army, a house. It's my page 8. Wehrmacht faces tenacious defenders. Pavlov's house, order 227. The Volga stands still. Operation Torch begins. Allies invade. US Naval Task Force spot large Japanese force near Guadalcanal. Pavlos House, that's an interesting one. Order 227. There are many examples of Soviet forces subscribing to the doctrine of Order 227, not one step back. Following to the death, if necessary, stories echo of ferocious fighting throughout the city. Most of the ports from the front are chaotic and unclear at the best. However, one consistent account I keep receiving is the defense of Pavlov's house, a four-story structure standing in the heart of Stalingrad holding a tactical advantage to whoever claims this building adjacent to the Volga River. A defensive perimeter of landmines and multiple layers of barbed wire were set around the apartment building under orders of Yakov Pavlov who was tasked with leading the building's defense in late September. Within the building are machine gun emplacements and anti-tank rifles at every window facing the entrances, entrances to the square. This is where the relevance of Pavlov's house has become clear. As German units approached, the PTRS-41 anti-tank gun achieved devastating results being fired from higher than the panzers could lift their thinly armored turrets. Soon after the roads approaching the 9th January Square, so-called after Bloody Sunday, were littered with German panzer threes and fours, the burning vehicles slowing any advance allowing the Soviets to call in precise artillery strikes from the eastern banks of the Volga. Anticipating a long siege, Pavlov and his men dug a trench to friendly positions about one kilometer away. This allowed for the small platoon of 25 to 40 men to be resupplied during what has become a symbol of resistance for one side and a rally, rallying cry for the other. The German 6th Army, realizing the importance of the location, threw the full might of the Blitzkrieg against the single structure and the relatively favorable, favorable weather conditions of early and mid-October, Luftflotte Fear has launched hundreds of aircraft against this target. Many thought the German high command would order the destruction of the building before allowing the Soviets to occupy it. With the heavy presence of anti-air, defenses and hundreds of angry, Red Army Air Force fighter pilots protecting the city, accurate strikes become a monumental task for the German bombers and ground attack aircraft. Many portions of the structure were compromised in early November, but the air assaults have waned due to rapid arrival of blizzard-like conditions. With unrelenting pressure applied to such a small force, one must consider how long these men can hold out amid the onslaught of an entire German panzer division. The streets and buildings are barely recognizable, but the soldiers see exactly what they are fighting for. Victory will put an end to this grinding battle. Look, planes! Stay strong, kings. It's a long way in the no, not November. <laughs> so many questions. You can butcher your enemies and eat them. Made them into jackets and chests. It's the best thing. What? My favorite is hearing people talk about remote casually while people listening in no idea what the remote is think <laughs> serial killers next to them. Mm. Good night. Gonna going for attackers. Come on boys. Another one. Okay, oh there's more. 
Oh no. Oh no. Wow. Wow. Now their wingmen wingmen are doing doing their job nicely. Two splashes really nice and quick. They left um, the attackers though. Gotta chase these two. Oh no, one attacker on fire. The one that's going vertically up, that's... I want him. Mission objective failed. Uh-oh. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. That's a high angle. That was not enough even. It's quite a bit of... Quite a bit of angle was not enough. Wow, he's sturdy. I thought he's like, oh, he's just one little burst away from dying. I guess he is now. Don't shoot me, friendlies. They have just no chill. They shoot. I can't be right behind them and they still shoot. Wingmen are not sometimes. Another one. Is that a head on? No. Thought for a second. Oh, he got. He's done. Well done, boys. Well done. Attackers just went for the mission. It's a weird that it's a fail. I guess I understand that shh, some of them got shot down and it's a problem, but the mission may still, still be accomplished. There's four attackers going for the run. Not sure I... I understand that. I get it, in, it's a, in a way that's a fail, but well, we got bounced back something like 10. Uh, not bounced, just, you know, needed to intercept. <clears throat> hey ho. Running after them at... Like here, I will go on combat, combat speed for now. Combat speed. No, reducing it's already because he seems slow. So I'm zero throttle on idle. I'm gonna dive. He's quite slow. He doesn't have the. He must be damaged so that it affects his speed. Pulling lead, pulling lead. So I shot with too much lead and I've recognized it then that it's kind of, you know, the lead is too much so I just continue shooting and kind of reduce that and essentially just drag the fire through him so it wasn't a great shot but just squeezed it a little bit longer and get him through the beam of a fire couple that are still on, on good good energy state like this one is a better position and this one has a, is a little bit higher there we go oh, okay he's really slow though time to strike he's like on full flaps AI does this sometimes they just go for some you know, climb and they do this
route of MG. Oh, it's going down, is it? Is it going in? Yep. I think that's all. That's all of them. Soviets are gone, went back with tail between their legs. <sighs> Heading west. Destination, Pitomnik Airfield. There it is. Battle bus, dog. That's a funny cockpit. The front sh shield is so vertical. Has a really good frontal visibility. It's like a truck, a bus. Laps go down. He's still on the runway though. May need to go on another for another runway. I think uh, yeah, let's go for the for the right runway. Gear goes down, flaps are full. Uh, 250 on the clock, really nice approach speed, I like it, reduce it. Easy glide. Keep it above 200. Lowering the throttle. Winging it. It was a right mission, actually. It's gonna be fail. But it was all right, I think. It was not bad at all. We shot some. We didn't get shot. Look at that wind, though. I didn't feel that crosswind, I must say, on the on the approach. It just felt all right. 